Hello everyone, this is Oliver from Neo and today what we are going to do is actually that we're gonna compare the typical Kyusu here, a red Tokoname versus the cast iron teapot and showing you that also with this cast iron teapot you can have uh, an amazing tea that you don't always need a perfect uh, teapot at home but if you have one of these with a strainer, very simple, very simple way to do tea. So I'm gonna show you that this is absolutely also a good way and it depends also on the tea that you're using. So what I will use is five grams of uh, the Yakushima Sencha, which is a more uh, typical fresh Sencha and then I just going to pour here the water into this cast iron teapots and I also gonna fill up my Kyusu both with more or less the same amount of water and just leaving it in for one minute so what you can see already with uh, what you have to look or watch out when you use a bigger teapot or a cast iron teapot when you have one of these at home don't use too much water for the Japanese green tea the reason why the Japanese they often go for smaller teapots or the Kyusu here on this side is that they can do several steepings with the same tea and still keep a good flavor steeping after steeping and this is why they also develop the smaller amounts to really have this stronger taste even with Gyokuro you can have very small teapots which I explained in, an, in another video where I compared to the different teapot sizes this is now a typical 250 milliliter um, clay uh, red clay red tokonami teapot and here what you just have to watch out is that when you use the cast iron teapot that you really uh, don't fill it up fully with water as the taste is still or through trying to keep the taste flavorful and not liquidizing or not giving it too much water to it that it tastes too watery so this minute is already over so let's have a look how this tea has evolved so we're just gonna pour it in here and voila then what is good about the cast iron you can just take the strainer out if you want to stop and then you just put it on here on the other hand, we have the red tokoname. Good. So let's see, we automatically use a little bit more of water with the cast iron um, so let's see how this influences now the flavor profile of this tea. Good. Now, first the red tokoname. So I have a very smooth, very sweet tea. There's a little bit of a vegetal note. And this, uh, you know, uh, the umami flavor in the end is definitely coming out. So what we have here is a little bit more of this marine, a little bit this savory note, typical for Japanese green tea, but still a lot on the sweet side, so not too uh, kind of uh, marine uh, brothy-like. So quite a smooth and sweet tea with a good hint of umami. Now let's going into the cast iron where we used a little bit more of water due to the setup of uh, the teapot. So let's just have a look how this one tastes. Mm -hmm. 
so what happens is when you use a little bit more of water is that actually the tea is done in more water giving it a little bit of a smoother a little bit of a lighter taste there's more the sweetness aspect and the umami flavor so a little bit the savory flavor and this, this the characteristic of the different flavor profile goes down so the tea loses a little bit in complexity it's still a very smooth a very sweet tea a very good tasting tea but it's definitely lighter than drinking it from the red tokoname so the verdict is definitely that with the red tokoname you can uh, have a more complex and more kind of a different savor different taste notes in the tea meanwhile with the cast iron the two the tea stays very smooth very round it's a very good tea to drink but finally it's not showing too much of the savory of the umami notes so this is quite lighter so what i would suggest you is to go with the time if you have the chance to go in the direction of the kyusu as this really lets the tea have a good and a different taste if you have a cast iron teapot at home you can absolutely do um, uh, the tea inside there knowing that using a little bit of water you smoothen out a little bit the different taste profiles so you have a smooth nice and sweet tea but a little bit less of complexity in the taste and a little bit less of different taste notes but absolutely a doable way and a nice way and an easy way to do japanese green tea